This is how I do my work. Um, so I wanted to show you. You can do it now. But wait a minute, because I'm about to show you. <coughs> I'm going to make you up a little. Okay, that's better, Vlog? Okay, you can see now. Jory, do not mess with the blog. I'm, I'm showing them this. Uh, H. We're doing H's right now. So, so, Jory, would I get would I get through doing these H's? You can color. You can color, okay? Color hand. Yeah. So, so what would I would I say go color? That means you get one marker that you like, and you can color, okay? Two hands. No. Yeah, you can color two hands, and then I got the next page. Um, and would I finish that page? Well, I finished all my homework and I completed it. You get. Hey, I'm not going to school. <coughs> no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you color since she's not in school. Okay. Dory, can you show the blog your nails? Yeah. No. No, do it. Dory, can you move? Um, excuse me. Yeah. Let's do it. So. You do homework on this page. Sometimes my sister knows how to do homework, <coughs> but she's not in school. Maybe. Complete, complete all my homework, you can what? <coughs> do what? Draw. Draw. I'm a little hot. Hold on for a minute, because i got to go to the bathroom. Dory, Dory, make sure nobody misses with my home. Dory, Dory, you can talk to the vlog right now, so I'm going to turn it to you. Okay, I want me to get it a little shorter, so you, so they can see your whole body. Like that. Okay, sit down, Dory. You can talk to the vlog. Um, I like Daddy and Mommy and Grandma and Daddy and... And I had... What happened to Journey? Huh? What happened to Journey? Um... Dun 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 I know, but you didn't say you like her. I like her. You didn't say her name. I didn't want her to be left out. Mommy, I said her. I like her. Mommy, I got my mommy dress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, Mommy. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Mama, you're not going to work. Well, I'm not going to work. I'm, <laughs> not going to work. I'm working from home. You're not home. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. Vlog. Drake, I'm going to turn the camera. I'm going to make it a little more tall so I can see it. Me better. Okay, that guy. Um, best friend, Jimmy Lennon. Oh, it's a fast friend. No, no, it's best friend. Mommy, can I get your phone? Mommy, can I get your phone to see what kind of video it says? Mommy, I'm not done yet because I got to finish doing my homework. <sighs> You don't gotta block the whole process. Yes, I do, cause I need to show the vlog my whole video of it. Tell you, tell you, you don't show. <coughs> okay, this is how I do it. And like a stride for me and mm -hmm. you. I think oh, that's better. Mm -hmm. Let's build it a little more. Okay. I think I 
did all these. Yeah. Jory, now you can color. Jory, actually, can you go downstairs and get a marker? And you can color. Yeah. I want a purple. Okay, go get purple. Blue, okay. Jory, how about you get brown? Get brown, cause, cause, um, yeah. What's the word? A for apple, B for ball, C for cat, H for? Hands. Good job. Or H for hat. H for hello. H for high five. Good job, finish your homework, Angel. I want to do like Zion did, then I like, then I said, move back. Then I will draw, then I will draw, then I will act, 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 then I will then I was drawing, yeah, um, I was, I've been trying thing. I've been trying bounces, practice, but I'm not going to cheer. But I'm not going to cheer. I or why am I going to cheer? I or guess I'm going to work by myself at home. Then I'm going to stay here with mommy and mommy, grandma, daddy, and all the giants. Then. My mom, my then daddy said, go in the studio, and daddy didn't be a prize. And daddy got me on makeup, and daddy got me card. Happy Friday, so I'm gonna make sure my shorts are looking decent. This is like a really skinny mirror. Hold on, y'all. I want y'all to see my outfit of the day. I have a long day of real estate. Actually, I have a long next few days. Um, so this is my outfit of the day. This is a two-piece short set and a nice little blazer like jacket i absolutely love it i have to go show six houses to one client i think it's six five or six to one client and then one to my condo shopper um so i have a long day and then i have open houses all weekend long and i am i told you guys i have my first investment property but even bigger i am now a part of an investment team of one of the top agents in my office the number two agent in my office 
um, he's brought me along. I went back and met up with him at another investment property earlier. So he's like taking me under the wing with the whole entire investment pro process. And it's just so exciting. Like, of course we have top, top investors like people who actually invest in properties but i'm trying to educate so many people as many people as i can about the actual process of investing or getting an investment property for their self and not like because you know like some properties like i show my clients and it just says like investor owned. these people live all over the world probably never no most in most cases never have seen the property they just know where the market is they have a team of experts who utilize the market to their benefit and capitalize off of it profit so much money off of this so most of the investors are located on the west coast so like california area stuff like that and they buy properties out here in atlanta and then resell like renovate a little bit resell or get tenants like that is a big 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 thing out here but now i'm in the realm of all the um like the knowledge that i need to like educate like i'm so thankful for making these connections because now i'm able to educate so i've already successfully gotten like five meetings booked for next week for some clients who and some live in georgia some don't um and for the, those who don't live in georgia we have property managers and all that different stuff that we will manage the entire process for you and then even if you live in georgia you can be as hands-on or hands-off as you want to be with your investment property but i'm going to go over how it makes sense for people who are not ready this is key for people who are not ready to own their own property whether it be they have a lease that you know they don't want to break it as um, like they have a year or two or you know for whatever reason they're trying to save up even more money all these different variables they don't make enough money to qualify for the house that they want this is why i want people to get investment properties because nine times out of ten you will qualify for an investment property like a one bedroom condo or you know two bedroom two bath townhome or something like that like something so much smaller and be able to get that and i'm going to go over the entire process of how it makes them money how much money they have to put in and all you need is six thousand dollars for the most part all you need is six thousand dollars there's no gimmicks there's no blur lines or anything like that like i'm gonna go in full detail with these clients if you are interested please 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 text my business phone i'll put the number across the screen and let's get to it honey like let's get to it i need to put my gloss on so please disregard but yeah so i am on my way out to take the girls to school and oh didn't put any perfume oh should i wait no need perfume <laughs> Need perfume. Which perfume should I wear today? I'm feeling kind of. Ooh, what should we wear, ladies? I have to go and get me another. Per ooh, let's no. I don't know. I love my Burberry. Like this one is actually surprisingly really, really, really nice. I haven't worn my Chloe in a while. Like in a while, while. Y'all see that? <laughs> Let me wear her because let's let's get to it. But anyways, have a great day. I'm gonna take you guys along with me um home shopping with my clients. And typically it's like I tell people like three to five homes, but it was like a lot. So I send a lot of homes and then we narrow down to like our top three that we're gonna go to. Um however, in the process of like finding and scheduling all the homes, two of the homes went under contract, so I had to send more homes. And then a, one of them fell out of contract and the other one was like, hey, please still go show it because we want a backup, which at this time, like we don't really do. Especially Mommy. Hey, mamas. Put my perfume on. Mommy. Hey, my love. What you doing? Putting on my perfume. Let's I'm go. Up. Hey. I love you. I'm going to go with you. You want to put perfume on? Yeah. Only a little. Mommy. Baby, you can't. Oh, just a little. I told you you can come with me to my work meeting. I really need to go to my office to go get my real, my new real estate sign. Hey, y'all. So, I'm leaving Gut Busters. This is my second time this week going here. I swear by this restaurant. It is so freaking good. And it seems like the whole city has found out about it because it didn't used to. Like, I found out about it when we moved over here to this side of town. And we were coming back and forth when we were first getting settled. And um, I was like trying to type in like breakfast near me, blah, 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 because I didn't want the girls to have to rely on like fast food, of course. So found this spot, very, very inexpensive. And um, oh y'all, everybody and their mother is up here. Oh shit, am I rolling over something? Oh y'all, I just be so nervous when I'm driving. I be feeling every little thump and bump. I feel I'm so small, hold on y'all. 
the sun is like blinding me. Wait, is someone calling my business line? Oh Lord, I'm gonna see. Hello. Good morning, how are you? Are you busy? No, I'm not busy. I was trying to see, do you um, know any uh, retaliation lawyers? Um, in, in regard to a, what, an account on your credit? No, uh, like a job. If something happened at a job place. Um, yeah, I do have a, a lawyer. I can send you her, you, you want me to send you yeah. her contact? Okay. Please. Thank you. Okay, no problem. All right, bye. Okay, bye. Um, one of my credit repair clients. Um, but anyways, what I was saying. So yeah, anyways, I came up here earlier this week. I forgot, how, like I haven't been up here in a while. I totally forgot how inexpensive they were when I came here the other day and how much food they gave me. I was like, what? Like, oh my gosh. I mean, it's a little inconvenient to you know, have to get out your car, order your food, wait, blah, blah, blah. But it did not beat how much food you get the quality of food you're getting like it is really really good so y'all go check out good busters if you are in the atlanta area whenever i come back home like i always be like okay let me go and get me some breakfast because that is setting the tone for my day and if i have a lot of work to do which i do or like a lot of real estate stuff to do which i do have to do today because i'm going to be showing houses i think our schedule starts at 11 30 which means 11 because i got to drive out there starting at 11 and we won't be done until like I think we see the last house around 2 or 2 30 ish so as a matter of fact i need to make sure i tell babe that he's picking the girls up today and then um then i gotta go right back out to the other side of town to the north side of town to show a house but yeah so i want to make sure i have a nice hearty breakfast before all of that because your girl can't afford to not be eating my food because then i'll be hungry and then yeah you can be real annoyed and you want to always have a great attitude well actually i always kind of still have a great attitude regardless if i'm hungry or not because you know i'm not gonna take it out on somebody else but um yes yeah, so i came up here to get me and babe some breakfast i'm like that's the least i can do because babe has been cooking for the last week or two i'm not even gonna lie y'all i can't remember the last meal i cooked because i've just been so freaking busy so babe has been holding it down cooking every single day so I'm like, well, at least let me wake him up to a nice cooked meal. <laughs> a nice cooked meal when he gets up. Um, and some guy comes up to me when I'm like, when he gets his food, he was like, hey, do you have a cash app? Um, I would like to pay for your breakfast. Mind you, they're very inexpensive. So I think our total was like $12. But um, I was like, I this is how some of these women be. Like a lot of women, they are, which I totally don't agree with. Even if I didn't have a boyfriend, like I just can't be that type of girl. Like guys offer to do stuff for me all the time. And obviously I've been in a relationship these last six years. So I always have turned them down. Um, but guys, like, I mean, there's a respectful way to do it. And there's a way that some people like feel like you, you know, guys feel like they're entitled to something once they start spending their money on you. But anyway, so he had asked me and I just felt so bad because I'm like, um, it, what if I would have said yes and he's paying for me and my man's food and I go home and just ha ha ha. But of course I would never do that. I was like, no, I'm in a relationship. No, thank you. And then he was hey like, guys, happy Saturday. It's open house weekend. Sorry, y'all was watching Netflix, but it's open house weekend and I'm leaving my open house. I got my new sign finally back out there. Cause I now, yes, y'all. My client got a brand new roof, y'all. Looking so good. And the house, look how beautiful this house is. I told y'all I was gonna vlog when I did the open house, but y'all, I couldn't because I had to get the sign up as soon as I got here. And um, I had some phone calls for some, um, I put on my story a couple of days ago, if anybody was interested and speaking to me about owning an investment property and this is for people who are one or there okay so there's different options you can go about it so either a you want to own a property but you have not financially saved up enough for the exact home that you want or make sure y'all that is coming or b you you 
own your own home but you have always looked at, wanted to get like more passive income so i told people to hit me up if they wanted to get an investment property all you needed was six thousand dollars and i wanted to go over the entire process start to finish i can work with anybody because i know people have reached out saying hey is it only for people in georgia is it only for people in georgia no it's not for only people in georgia nor do you have to live in georgia to have a georgia investment property okay guys so it's the end of the vlog let me make sure i properly in the vlog because I edited most of it this morning. Y'all have not seen me cook. Mama, very... Mama, Mama. Yes, George. <laughs> Y'all haven't seen me cook. I had to do another open house today. And ever since I got home, I've been like literally meeting with clients. I just converted one of my rent to own clients who were actually didn't even know she qualified to actually own property, y'all. So and actually within our conversation, we found something. So we're working on her pre-approval so we can put in this offer. Excited, excited, excited. But anyways, y'all, so I made this chicken. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. When we went to Longhorn no, yesterday, I mean not Longhorn, a, a, what is it? Applebee's. And they had the Parmesan steak with shrimp. By the way, my steak was not to medium well. Definitely not. But anyways, they had like the little Parmesan. So I was like, mm, let me make some of this chicken that I love to make. I put on the stove top first. And then I put the Parmesan cheese, but not the shredded. I had the this one right here, freshly shaven. And then we're gonna see how this tastes. Babies, go sit down. They are like not even giving me space, honey. So anyways, let me get their baked potato out. They don't even really like potatoes. So I start them off, I made plenty, but I always start them off small. So I got, had to melt the butter and all the seasonings and stuff on their baked potato. And then I'm gonna split it up amongst the three of them. And then we still have one more, cause me and babe will, babe will eat the big one and I'll eat one like the medium size and if one of them wants another one or both of them or any of them wants more potatoes, we still got a whole nother potato ready for them, but they really hate potatoes. They love french fries, but they don't like potatoes. Um, and then I'm making a Caesar salad and then they're gonna have dessert. Um, try to keep up desserts every Sunday cause I want them to have like this tradition going on. But anyways, yes, y'all, I was like, let me come in and say, y'all, I can't even show my face right now because, y'all, when I come home these days after my long, 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 long work days, y'all, long work days, I snatch that wig off and take my clothes off. So I can't even show y'all myself. But anyways, y'all, so about to make their food and, I mean, plate their food and then I'll see y'all later.